All right, so we're back for another deep dive. And this time, uh, we're going to be looking at the opening line from Toni Morrison's Beloved. Okay. And the line is this. 124 was spiteful, full of a baby's venom. Hmm. I mean, right off the bat, I got to say, this is not your typical first line, is it? No, not at all. Like, how often do you see a house number described as spiteful? Right. It's so strange and intriguing. Right? Yeah, it's just odd. I mean, it's like she's giving this house, this address, this almost like a personality, right? Totally. And not just any personality, but one that's like malevolent, yeah. right? Like it's got this bad energy clinging to it. Exactly. And then on top of that... You've got this phrase, a baby's venom. Yeah, what's that all about? Like, babies are supposed to be innocent, pure. How can a baby have venom? It's this weird paradox. Yeah. And I got to say, it's kind of creepy. Oh, it's definitely unsettling. And I think that's exactly what Morrison is going for, right? What do you mean? I think she wants to shock us a little bit to make us feel uneasy from the very beginning. And by using this image of a baby's venom, she's sort of hinting at this dark, primal force that's at play in the novel. Okay, I could see that. Like, maybe it's suggesting that even the most innocent things can be corrupted, can be touched by evil or pain. Exactly. And remember, Beloved deals with some pretty heavy themes, right? Slavery, trauma, the lingering effects of the past. So this opening line, as strange as it might seem, actually does a great job of setting the tone for the rest of the book. Yeah, you're right. It's like she's giving us this little warning, like, hey, buckle up. This is going to be a wild ride. Exactly. It's like a little taste of the darkness and complexity that's to come. And that's what makes it such a powerful opening line, I think. It grabs your attention, it makes you think, and it leaves you wanting more. Okay. So we've talked about how this line is unsettling. But what do you think Morrison is trying to achieve by making us feel that way? I think she's forcing us to confront some uncomfortable truths about history, about human nature. You know, we often think of babies as these symbols of innocence and hope, but Morrison is challenging that notion. She's saying that even babies can be marked by pain, by rage, by the sins of the past. And I think that's a really powerful and thought-provoking idea. Yeah, that makes sense. And I guess in the context of slavery, the idea of a baby's venom takes on a whole new meaning, right? Right. I mean, think about the horrific experiences of enslaved mothers and their children. The violence, the separation, the trauma, it's unimaginable. So this venom could be seen as the residue of that pain, the anger and resentment that's passed down through generations. Okay, that's heavy stuff. And it's all packed into just one sentence. Right. It's amazing how much Morrison can convey with so few words. So we've talked about the unsettling nature of the line the paradox of a baby's venom, and the connection to the novel's larger themes. But is there anything else about the language itself, the way it's written, that stands out to you? Well, the word choice is really interesting, right? How so? Well, words like spiteful and venom are so strong, so evocative, they immediately create the sense of danger, of something sinister lurking beneath the surface. Yeah, and they also kind of give the house this like agency, right? Like it's not just a building, it's an active force, almost like a character in the story. Exactly. And that's what makes the line so memorable and effective. It's not just telling us something, it's making us feel it. Yeah, I totally agree. All right, so to kind of wrap things up here, it seems like we both agree that this opening line from Beloved is pretty darn remarkable. It's strange, it's unsettling, and it's incredibly effective at setting the stage for this really powerful and complex story. Absolutely. It's one of those lines that just stays with you long after you finish reading. Yeah. And for me, it really speaks to Morrison's incredible skill as a writer, you know, mm -hmm. her ability to create these vivid images and pack so much meaning into just a few words. Totally. She's a master of language. And yeah. I think this opening line is a perfect example of that. Definitely. So to our listeners out there, if you're looking for a book that's both challenging and rewarding, I highly recommend checking out Beloved. And Pay close attention to that first line because, trust me, it's just the tip of the iceberg. It really is. It's like a key that unlocks the whole novel. Exactly. And with that, we'll wrap up another deep dive. Until next time. See you then.